Hi all, in this video, let's learn about JavaScript tricky interview question, which is based upon map. So let's see that. So here, this is a question. So we'll be given an array in which this array are string values and we are trying to keep a map function and we are using parse int here. So we'll be expecting the output like this, one, two, three, but what we'll be getting as output, let's see. So we'll be getting something like this, one followed by nan and nan. This is what the output will be getting. So let's now understand why this is what we will be expecting and we'll be getting something like this. So let's understand what is happening behind the screens here. So now before that, we need to understand what is this parse int and uh, what are the methods we have, how it works. So let's understand that first. So coming to the parse int, we use this parse int function to convert a string into a number. So that's the reason if you pass a 10 number, it will be converted as a 10. Okay, if you pass some floating number also, it will be converted into a decimal number because it is a parse int. Okay, now like this, if it, if, if it gets something like this, it will pass the first integer. So it will take only the 40 value like this and it will show 40. If it gets some text, if it is seeing some value which is not able to convert at the beginning first stage, so it will be converted that as a NAN. Okay, this is what the parse int. It will, it, it will convert the given string into the number. If it, if it can't, it return back the NAN. This is the first parameter we have in the parse int. Apart from that, it has one more parameter. It has one more argument here. So that's the second argument is option. This is a base system. It indicates the base system. So if you mention here as two, it means you want to convert a number which is given here. So let me give like this 1010. Zero, zero. So this is a binary number. So now this number will be converted into the binary. See, now it will be converted as a 10. So now if I say something like all ones are given, all ones and zeros should be given. If I give something like this, see, you got 14 here because this number is converted into the binary. So now here, the second argument is like, it is like a base number system. If it is two, it is binary. Okay, if it is eight, it is octa. If it is 16, it is hexan. If it is 10, it is decimal. That is what the second argument does. So if you're given a uh, zero, so if you give just a zero, or if you not give any value there, so it is same. So if the second argument is zero, if you mention this as a zero, or if you not mention anything as a second argument, both are the same. That's the reason, see, if I mention the second argument as zero, if I not mention it also, it, you'll be getting the same value. So this is about the parsing and its second argument. Now let's understand what is the map. So now I have explained you about the second argument. If you mention it as a two binary, eight octa, 10 decimal. Okay. Mostly if you not mention that, the default value would be taken as a decimal value. This is what happens for the parsing. Now let's understand what is a map. So map, it takes the array, it is an array method. It will be taken and uh, values. And what it does is it will be having a callback function. Okay. In that callback function as an argument, it will pass these three values. Okay. What it takes is it and callback function to that. It will be passing these three values. The element means the first element and the index means the index of this array. And the array means it is like uh, the reference to this array all these three would be passed to this callback function. Map will pass all these three to this callback function. That's what happens. Now, let's understand this parse int has its own functionality. If you pass two as a, this third argument is not available for the parse int, this would be ignored. Okay, now what map does, it will pass two element and the index to the parse int. So like this. So parse int, what it does, it will pass the value, I mean one, and its index. So like this, it would be passed to the parseint map function, but parseint has its own definition. So it sees a string like this and it sees sub base number system and it will be converting that. So that's the reason it is converted to one, the first one, because if you give zero, if you not give zero also, the number would be this, uh, converted. So that's the reason you got one here first time. And now the second time in the second and third iterations, so now what you have, you have two and the index is one. Now parsing can't do any of the operation on this because the number system one is not available. So that's the reason it can't convert this number into this base number system. That's the reason it will be returning back, not a number. The same thing, if it goes to the third number, 
three and two will be coming. And now parse int, it will not able to convert this string to this base binary. So that's the reason it would be con you will be getting as a not a number. Okay, whenever you give a binary, it means you you should provide a binary value here like ones and zeros. Okay, then only that number would be converted with the base two like binary number. And you'll be getting the result as you have not provided the binary digit here you'll be getting a not a number value here so that is the reason you'll be getting one not a number and not a number this is the reason behind the uh, output so how it should be working so let's take this example if you want this to work so usually how we, we use map is you'll be providing a written i mean a callback function here so let me call this as written number written numbers so now you need to provide a constant, okay? A return numbers. So I'm providing this method callback function, and to this I am I will be passing the element, comma index because map function will pass these two as arguments to its callback function. So that's the reason you are passing these two. And now inside this you can do the parse int. So this you can do. Now if you do the element, all these elements would be converted. So this is what you can do. So if you see the output now, let me go back here. So this is what we'll be getting. It is converted. So directly, if you give the parsing, uh, the it it the parsing has its own definition. That definition would be applied. So in order to do any of the parsing, this is what you can do. And apart from this, instead of having a method like this, you can directly write this arrow function directly inside here. This is also fine. So if you go back here, both are fine. So this is the main reason behind this tricky JavaScript interview question. We need to understand about the parsing and its second argument and how this map is going to pass its values to this parsing. And now map has a callback function. Okay, this these are the normal functions. So they do whatever we say, but the parsing has its own definition. So that's the reason it was parsed something like this, one nan and nan. I hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.